simple and very clear. Sierra Leone is on the move. We are open for business. What has been shared with you is a demonstration as to the mileage we have covered. Recently, you might have read, <coughs> excuse me, on the internet or somewhere, a publication by the civil society. The extent of tax breaks been given. They say we are losing a lot more. That may be true in a sense. But going beyond that, our thinking is that there is a need to create a room such that a good number of real investors will come and be part of the transformation of a nation. And just so that I share this with you, what you've just seen is scores of businesses doing well in the agro industry. Now what we are doing right now is tax the team responsible for tax policy to review the activities of all agro-businesses and ask the right questions. What are our incentive levels? Can we give more incentives such that we'll be able to attract more businesses? Could we, for example, put together the accumulative tax incentives and ask the right questions, what impact are they delivering? On the flip side of it, there is a need to take a look at the amount of taxes being paid by all of these agribusinesses and ask, well, hang on a minute, what if production commences? What could be the cumulative impact on the economy? How many Sierra Leoneans have they employed? But how would we develop the value chain? That is the question. And that is why in our agenda for prosperity, we have made a commitment to ensure that not only will we diversify our economy, but we should be able to be globally competitive. We know that to attract you to come to Sierra Leone, we need to do well in the area of infrastructural development, particularly in the area of energy. We are just nearly there in terms of concluding a PPA with a particular company to be able to provide 100 megawatts for the western area we have decided as soon as possible to commence studies on developing the national grid, but most importantly, the grid around the western area. The reason why I would encourage you to come to Sierra Leone would be twofold in addition to everything that I have said. Nowhere will you find a good friend to invest than in a particular nation led by someone who is also coming from the private sector. That is the bottom line. And all of us are challenged every morning and every afternoon and evening by the president. He says, we've made a commitment to run the country as a business. But so too must we be very clear in our minds that we want a private sector-led economy. And that is what we are pushing for. We want to grow, we want to transform our economy but we want you to be part of the process. We want you to be in the driving seat. Government will never be efficient in running a business, particularly so doing what the private sector will do, except in areas where we think that public goods should be provided by, by government. But I'm sure you might have been briefed that we have PPP arrangements in the country. So it really is up to you. We are taking a look at our incentives arrangement. If it requires that we provide further incentives, we will. A good number of us are recruited from overseas to go back to our country. The rationale is simple and short. Do that which is required of you and put in place mechanisms that will ensure that businesses thrive as quickly as possible. And one last thing I will say, remember I said two, two elements. The No Bride campaign is now championed by His Excellency the President. If you go to Freetown and there are stumbling blocks, speak to me. 
you don't have to pay any bribe. If you have stumbling blocks, please draw my attention and draw the attention of the trade ministry. There are people prepared to ensure that to put in place mechanisms that will help our country to propel. This is certainly not about us any longer. It's about prosperity. The prosperity we have chart, charted to ensure that we achieve, but it's mostly about the new generation. All of us as Sierra Leoneans carry the badge of blood diamonds. That should be behind us, and we've tried as much as possible to put that behind us. <clears throat> Believe you me and trust me, this is a new Sierra Leone. What has been shared with you is just tip of the iceberg. There are many more arrangements in place. There are many more agreements that we are trying to conclude. I'll stop here and encourage you, please, to ask as many questions as possible. And I'll avail myself to be able to respond to them. And I must say that we also enjoy the support of Parliament to pass laws and rules and regulations. I thank you so much for your attention. Good afternoon.